أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله عليك يا ولي العصر أدركنا السلام عليكم brothers and sisters welcome back hope you all are doing well today we are going to talk about something really important and that is tawakkul which is putting your trust completely in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at times when we face difficulties or problems in life we try to complain to ourselves and you know say that why do i have to go through all of these problems in life why don't they just go away and this is a sign that your iman is weak because a believer who completely trusts allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never complains he rather endures that pain and suffering patiently and trusts allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the quran even says only those who possess faith and tawakkul will be able to exhibit resistance against shaitan's whisperings and he will not be get influenced by them it says innahu laysa lahu sultanun ala alladhina amanu wa ala rabbihim yatawakkalun surely he has no authority over those who believe and rely on their lord so you can see from this ayah that the shaitan will not be able to control you if you have complete tawakkul on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at times when we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help or we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something we start doubting whether he will answer our prayers or not this is not a sign of a good believer a believer who has firm faith in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we need to understand that allah has power over all things and he loves us more than even our parents so after we pray allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something we should not doubt and we should completely trust him because this trust that we put on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will no doubt make us successful not only in this world but also in the year after so whoever relies on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah does not disappoint them and he helps them let's look at a story of a trader from the time of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam during the time of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam there was a trader who used to place his trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of us and he used to travel from syria to medina for trade and during one of his trips he was confronted by a robber who pulled out his sword and intended to kill him and so the trader told the robber if it is my wealth that you desire then you can take it but leave me alone but the robber said i have to kill you because if i let you go free then you will inform the authorities and i will be punished for it so the trader said that in that case just give me some time to offer a two rakat prayer and so the robber agreed and the trader started praying after he finished his two rakat namaz he raised his hands and he prayed to allah and he said oh lord i have heard from a prophet that whoever places his trust in you shall remain protected in this desert i have no helper and your grace is my only hope he had hardly finished his supplication when a man on a white horse came and confronted the robber and killed the robber and then the man turned to the trader and told him o oh, you who places his trust in allah i have killed the enemy of allah and so the trader was confused and asked the man who are you and why have you come to my assistance and so the man said i am your tawakkul allah has sent me in the form of an angel and i was in the heavens when jibril alay salam called out to me and said go help your master and kill his enemy and here i have come and eliminated your enemy saying this he disappeared out of sight after this the trader went into prostration and thanked allah subhanahu wa taala and he acquired a stronger conviction with respect to all the teachings of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam regarding tawakkul and on arriving in medina he approached holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam and narrated whatever had happened so this story tells us that when we have tawakkul on allah subhanahu wa taala he helps us especially during our hard times allah loves it when his servant despite of what he is going through does not complain and endures everything patiently and puts complete trust in him he completely relies on allah subhanahu wa taala that is what allah loves most importantly 
having complete faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring us closer to Allah and will also bring us closer to Imam Mahdi ajjal Allah ta'ala farajah sharif May Allah hasten his reappearance. Wa akhiru da'wana nilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Meet you in the next video inshallah. Khuda hafiz. Take care.